Yo, 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 it's OSG Breezer. It's for DJ Dungeons. Yeah, you on with Lit Lifestyle Podcast. OSG Breezer in this motherfucker. It's your boy DJ WJ23. Right. The boss is here. Don't sound like you here. You okay? I'm good. Nah, she ain't good. She so, ain't good. Oh, Tones in the building from Grind Gang. Who? Tones in the building from Grind Gang. Early Grind Gang. Mojo Yeti in the building. Pope baby. If it ain't Pope, it ain't dope. You know what's going on. Nigga turned <laughs> up on some who's ass. I already know. Early grind game, early grind. Grind hard, you already know. Boy, nah, bullshit. What y'all boys thought about the whole show last night, man? Man, I thought it was lit. A lot of people I didn't know, mm-hmm. I didn't know they was going to bring heat like that. Because oh, last time it wasn't that much heat. Oh. So this time it was like. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my button ready, bro. <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it, it was live though. I was rocking with most of the people that was performing. Yeah, I yeah, thought it was yeah, pretty yeah. dope. How like, you feel, Tunes? Same way he felt, but last time I didn't even get to see him perform. And, you know, with me going last, I felt like that put pressure on me too. God, I'm glad I did what I did and turned up. Nigga talking that shit. Yeah. They made me they made me go last last time. Uh, so that's yeah. the that's the gift. I think that's what it that's is. That's the gift. Uh, <laughs> Anybody who go on it, that's the gift. You gotta go last. <laughs> That's, that's how you win. That's a turn up spot. <laughs> that's a turn up spot right there. That nigga privy had it. That nigga privy was like, bro. I said, what is shit? That boy turned the fuck up. Boy. Winning the crowns and everything, bro. Man, man. How y'all, how y'all like the show? Y'all like the show? The show was pretty good, bro. Huh? Like all the different artists that came all out. All the different artists? Yeah. How you spell artists? R T T S S S. It's another E at the end. Yeah, nigga got three E's at the end. Nigga, make it a word. But nah, it was cool. Shout out Georgia Media. Came out. She came out? Yeah, she came out. I thought it was her show. That's how she came out. (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) What'd you ask? How you felt about the show? It was dope, as always. Pretty dope. Shout out to Boosie on the one and twos. She did her thing. Ones and twos. Mm -hmm. Did it though? I didn't have you on the ones and twos, bro. Oh, I was uh, doing journalists that day. My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, so Mojo, yeah, you got any projects coming out? Any anything coming up? Um, I was supposed to drop something yesterday uh-huh. called Triple T K A, which means time to totally kick ass, like white chicks. Mm. You feel me? But there's a couple more tracks I need to add, so it'll be out in like two, three weeks. But I do got a lot of tracks done. Okay, yeah, probably let y'all hear it today. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Some exclusive shit. Some exclusive tunes. What you got? Man. Man, I'm trying to drop a mixtape called Give Me A Minute. It's going to be like basically freestyle to everything like that's going on right now, hot and everything, you know? Like, like Jacket For Beats? Or... Yeah, yeah, something like that. Oh, he going no sale. No. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm trying no. to kill it like okay. Wayne. Oh, Wayne. No. Trying to kill like who? <laughs> Wayne. Oh, all right. All right. You know his real name? Dwayne. Mm. You say you're trying to kill it like who? Wayne. Because he was Dwayne. killing it? You know, when he was doing no selling every time, he dropped the mixtape and slap. Oh, it was hot every time he dropped it. Every time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, <right> <laughs> Appreciate, Appreciate that little bit of, uh, you know what I'm saying, yeah. emphasis. My nigga Michael. How many uh, Jay-Z mixtapes you heard? I ain't gonna stand. I ain't really a fan of Jay-Z. Oh, man. I mean, I, I'm a fan of him, but I don't really listen to him like that. I say it like that. Hood News at 6, checking in. What's up, Bubba? And how old are you, bro? 18. You don't listen to Jay-Z? Not like that. Man. Mojo, yeah, you listen to uh, Jay-Z? I like before Beyonce, Jigga. Oh, man. He was more he was more out day. Yeah. Less more business, man. More back at the bottom, like coming up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sound like he wanted it more, right? Yeah, but he was big pimping and all that. Like, I was cool with that Jigga. Like, then when he got with B, it's like... <laughs> I'm a businessman, so I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't kept for that. Like, what if fucking with you then? Yeah, but he's still the goat though. He's still the goat. I give him that, cause he doing what he doing. What nobody else could really do. And what's that? I guess everything. Like what? Yeah. I want to hear. Share. 
Let's oh. we here. We here to talk about this. All right. I want to know what's up. <laughs> Enlighten me. Jigga the only one that I feel like could give people game without spending money. Mm-hmm. Like he could let you know what's going on nowadays. How you could like instead of doing music, how you could like impact your community and shit like that. Like real T and instead of trying to go for the TV route, play ball and shit like that, like you could be a lawyer, doctor, all this other shit like that. Like a lot of people can't preach that to me. Rick Ross not gonna preach that to me. Mm-hmm. Me Milk, he might could preach it, but he ain't gonna put it off like Jigga. No, he not gonna have the visuals to match it like Jigga. That's right, that's right. He just got a different mentality on things. That's why I respect Jigga. Hmm. Wow, that's interesting. Who is that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> So how you feel about that, man? Yeah. I mean, I respect them and all that, but I'm not really like a, you know, I ain't going to search them up. I really search, like, somebody else up. Like who? Wayne? Yeah. Like, oh. that's my favorite rapper, so I'll search them up. Damn. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> what you drinking, Bougie Boss? What is that? For, for a loco. Oh, for a loco? It don't sound like you drinking no for a loco. It's the Bougie one. That's the Bougie one? I ain't never seen a for a loco before. <laughs> I got to put it on the line. That's my first time. How much they cost? Bougie price. Bougie price. Bougie price. Oh, okay. Bougie price. Bougie price. That's how much it was. Clear mm-hmm. <laughs> clown, man. <laughs> how you open that again? So, as far as the show, the show is cool. The show is dope. But what else? We all both got coming next, man. Besides, oh, yeah. any no. more shows? Any more anything? I was about to say, and the song I did last night, I just released that uh, Friday, last Friday. And where can they find that at? SoundCloud. Uh, search me up at Grind God Tunes on SoundCloud, Reverb Nation, Dat Pill, and uh, Audio Mac, all that. Okay, okay. Mm. Spit the first verse. Oh, shit. Spit the first one. Ooh. Hey, it's took a risk like the lottery. Give me money, leave me alone, no, don't bother me. I be paper chasing, think I'm on a track team. At the bags, I ain't worrying about no track team. Since a youngin', I've been on a rock around. Give me a beat and I'ma kill it every time. Niggas hating, they don't wanna see me shine. Trying to take me while I'm still in my prime. Yeah, why you hating, man? I'm still on the rise. I hate the stage, you know it's over, I'ma slide. Put my mama on the hill where she can vibe. Don't move a muscle, baby, you know that I got us. Hmm. Oh. That's what you want? You want it to work? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you guys been the first night too? Yeah. The first one you did last night too. Oh, shit. You wanna do the hook too? Yo, whatever you, you want to do. Have you won? P O T E, baby, what you know? Two flops, just in case my data running low. Two thoughts, two knots, one is just for show. Pope, nigga, skid away, booming when I'm home. Young nigga, hop, zinc, wings for the low. Western Union, Brody, Tony, pay me what you owe. Southside, baddie, yoga, thought, food coat. Gotta play for Windsor, all that ass, who you coach? Sit it up in class, goddamn, drop it low. Shell around the corner, playing live, what the scope? I'm on ranch land, seafood licious up the road. I just took this nigga bitch and now he bitching on my poach. Chatham County, uniforms out the head stove. We moved from the east and then they sent my ass to gross. Amazed by the steeds, I was taking niggas hoes. Bet they don't be for my niggas train to go. Shawty wanna touch me, we know how it go. She wanted to fuck me when she came to the show. Brought her to the room, panties on the floor. Pulling on the head, I add some pressure to the strokes, yeah. Alright. Oh, no. <laughs> so, so what's up? In about fifteen years, let's just say you make it that long. You see yourself rapping about the same stuff? Um somebody get- asked me this like a few months back, like before I even did P O T E. Um At first I wasn't even really rapping about Savannah like that. Mm-hmm. Because I was just rapping. Now it hit me like ain't nobody really been putting on for the city. Stressing it like that. Like stressing it like that for yeah. like a decade okay. plus, in my opinion. Okay. And now that I am like, I wanna put the city on my back. I feel like I got so much stories from Savannah because I'm born and raised in Savannah. Okay. Like thoroughbred, my mama off waters. Okay. So like I feel like I'ma die like this. So I'm gonna keep rapping about Savannah till I'm through. And because I'm doing this whole po-, po Baby Records thing, whoever like I want to add on to this, they gotta at least have the same mentality is to put this city on, and if not, like kick rocks. So, in your career, if you find a, a 
the one. You still gonna be rapping around holes and shit after your show? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not not like not even no kind of disrespect, but I tried like because of the way I was raised, mm-hmm. um, single pop, single mom. Mm-hmm. There's, there's two different mindsets going on. My mom, she always treat the ladies right, treat the ladies right, you know, do right by the women. And that's cool. I'm all down with that. Then with my pops, he bringing in shorties mm-hmm. every now and then. It's like, sometimes I don't know how to feel, yeah. but I'm real 50-50 on it. Like, I don't, when I say bitch or a hoe, I don't never mean it in disrespect. Mm-hmm. Anything. It may come off wrong, but I never mean it like that. Okay. It's, it's usually like a certain mentality of a of a young lady. Okay. Sometimes when I say bitch or a hoe, like sometimes... Sometimes a girl might give it up on the first night. That don't make her a hoe. But the okay. way she may carry herself makes her a hoe. And mm-hmm. I don't know if it's just me, but I may attract or have certain type of women gravitate towards me, and they might be considered hoes. That's why I may speak on it like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. I got the same question for you. Uh, I feel like I will be able to uh, keep rapping about the same thing. Mm-hmm. Like, right. So if we talk about the first the rhyme that you just gave us just now, you gonna be talking about the same thing fifteen years from now? Uh, I might not be talking about like you know the exact same thing. Cause fifteen you, years you, now, I see myself like. Hey, she's setting it. y'all up now, so I see myself it. like I have made it already. So <laughs> I'm probably gonna still be talking about how I came up, and probably gonna still have the same mentality to go and get money. Fifteen years from now, you're gonna be talking about how you came up. I mean, like if I if I ain't tell my whole story, then I'm still gonna you know, like space it out, tell people my story. You feel me? Like how much more of a story would you have after that though? Like. You talking about you? You've come out of poverty. You okay? So I'm chasing it to get a bag from my mama, a car from my mom, all that good stuff. Now it's 15 years later. I mean, are you talking about the same thing? I mean, I could, but you know. I mean, that tells me that what you what you grinding for every day, what your heart and soul is is into, is music. You talking about? Ain't shit change. Like you ain't you ain't you ain't going nowhere. You ain't moving. I mean, I guess I have to see what when the years come. You gotta see what the years come. I mean, like, I mean, like how, how my story goes. <laughs> so you like, think in fifteen years, are you still, right in fifteen years from now, are you still gonna be trying to get out of poverty? No, nah, I you see still myself already out of poverty. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm already be out of it. Yeah, you gonna be out of it. Yeah, but you gonna be rapping about it. That you are. I mean, I'm still gonna try to inspire the next person. You're gonna inspire them the person to rap about to something poverty. that you where you were. 15 years prior. Yeah. I'm going to inspire them to get out. No. No? Yeah. No. Really? Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, that's what it is? <laughs> I mean, I kind of get what he's saying. Like, he's not going to be, like, in poverty or anything like that right. anymore. But I can see him trying to, like, kind of, like, for motivational purposes only. Like, when he rapping on it. Like, let's say he rapping about, I don't know, money, women coming out the bottom. And it's like, he probably speaks for the people that's still at the bottom. Okay. And they need a soundtrack. Okay. To get them out of the bottom and okay. make a movie for what's going on. Okay. Yeah. But even at that part in your music career, let's just say just you had already signed a deal or whatever and you, you're making that money and you're talking about poverty, this, that, and the third, and how you gonna come up and what you're gonna do for your boys and your parents and all that good stuff. And then you're starting to do well for yourself. The industry's booming. You collecting check after check. You go on tour after tour and all that. And again, I'm talking 15 years later, you're still talking about the same thing. I mean, no, nah, it's gonna be like a, a whole nother story. You're gonna be saying, then. "I remember when I like what you gonna be." Nah, doing? it's gonna be a whole nother story then. Like, so then you. I'm gonna start talking about uh, things I'm gonna be going through then, like what I'm gonna be oh, facing, okay. having money and. But I'm gonna be done traveling the world and oh, stuff like okay. that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So what's the what's the point? What you trying to get at? I think I think she's trying to get. I think I think I think she's trying to uh, refer this back to Jigga. In a way, I feel. That where you going at with this? I'm so sick of hearing people say that Jay has nothing else to talk about. Mm-hmm. We don't want to hear what you have to talk about, Jay. Well, I, in my mind, I cannot see Jay talking about Molly and Percocet. Mm-hmm. I don't see it. It's like you guys are wanting him to talk about what's the wave right now, what's the trend right now. But I'm sorry. I mean, I I got billions and billions, right? So what? I'm not talking about 
that no more. I've been there and I've done that. Now let me tell you how my twins will be birthing, taking baths and gold and shit, because that's the truth. That's what's going on right now, man. I ain't got millions. I ain't got millions, and I don't talk about millions and purchases. Right? You don't, right? (laughs) Right now. But again, the argument is. You tired of Jay has nothing else to say because he's already lived this life. Well, before. shut up. So now, <laughs> Just let somebody else do it. But, Real so true. now he's talking about what he has going on right now. Now you're like, oh, he's not the same anymore. Times change, life right. change. My whole thing on that is, I'm cool. I'm not talking about drug dealing no more, but because he is into other businesses and stuff like that. Even with the last album he dropped, he dropped gems on stuff like that. Okay. I'm cool with him talking about that. He ain't always got to talk about, you know. Big pimping. He ain't always got to be that. I understand he's not that anymore. Okay. So for him to still try and reach the youth with, with, with subjects. Reach to who? Um, the youth. Like I want to say, him eighteen. I'm nineteen. Okay. Me coming up from Myers and Grows. I'm not thinking about no royalty. I'm not thinking about that. I'm really just trying to get moms out, out the east side, out the west side. That's all I'm thinking about. Now he's telling me other ways I can do that instead of just using, using music, drugs, uh, um, using women or pimping or anything like that. Because he's dropping gems, that's why I still respect him. So are you saying his target market is still the same ever since he came out? No. Yeah, I don't think it's still the same. I think, I don't think his target market is just, you know, certain maybe 30 and up. I don't think that's the market anymore. Because if that was the case, he would still be using the same old boom bat beats mm-hmm. from then. The fuck? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> now, I, I want to say something real, real bad. Say what you got to say, All buddy. All right, so I'm 22. You said you're 18 and 19, right? I'm 19. All right. Well, my uh, especially my generation, my generation is, you know, exactly where y'all at. I grew up with other older brothers, and I'm from up north. Right. So Jay, like, played a huge, huge impact on my life. I'm an artist. I've done shows everywhere. I've done a whole bunch of shit. Right. Um, so to hear this new J album and everything, everybody's like, oh, yeah, we don't give a fuck, blah, 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 blah. Have you ever been to a J concert, homie? I've been to one. How big was that shit? How it, lit was that shit? It was packed. My people weren't really caring for it like that. So you brought a ticket for no apparent reason? No, nah, I came with my, I went with my parents. Oh, you went with your parents? How long yeah. ago was that? Uh, say about seven years back. So, I mean, I mean, shit. That's that's recent in Jay's career. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Yeah. That's real recent. Um, I mean, he did the the on the run tour, Beyonce, all that shit. They made a million dollars every single fucking night. Right. You know what I mean? So, the impact that this nigga has is is crazy. It's crazy. It, it's way bigger than who is the impact then? I'm just all asking. All right. So, asking. black people for one, listen mm-hmm. to the album. Yeah. Fucking um. The story of OJ. Yeah. On that song, talking about businesses. How how the fuck do white people end up getting all this fucking money, exactly. capital, land, everything? Exactly. Now, if you take that and compare that to a future who's talking about just drugs and fucking bitches all day, he ain't getting no money. Like he, I mean, future getting money because he's working and shit, but a nigga who's just sitting there listening to the future all day, he ain't getting no bread. Let me right. ask you this, though, right? All right. Check this out. When Jay first that came out, what are we talking about? He was talking about fucking hoes and getting his money. Mm-hmm. Right, so he was what, talking about that. What's future talking about right now? Fucking hoes, getting his money. All right, how how deep is Jay Z in the game? Jay Z is pretty far. All right, how deep is future? He he's and, not uh, Jay Z. <laughs> all right, so you don't think possibly when he gets to that point, he's gonna be talking about bigger stuff too? A- absolutely. So I do agree a- with you. I, I agree with you. Absolutely. I agree so with you. So at the end of the day, I feel like when when it comes to being an artist, people don't realize because I'm an artist, you have to be an artist. Right. You have absolutely. to realize how can you as that artist reach the masses? How what if I come out right now talking about gold bounce and all that, nigga be like, nigga, what? Nigga you still living somebody. I can't believe that. You know what I'm saying? So why would I talk about that? Future or Drake and them, they, they getting us to be able to talk about that stuff. But people right. still going to be like, mm, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? So for Jay to be talking about what we talking about, it's cool. But at the end of the day, as as a consumer, it's just like, it just, I, I want to hear that shit. I ain't going to lie. You want to hear wanna what hear shit, though? You want to hear I wanna the hear wave? That, that, the new people wave? People using that wave shit, is, like, that's what's in. So you want to hear about... We not rocking the same clothes we were rocking five years ago. Yikes. We got on football jerseys in who got a food jersey on? You got a food jersey on? No. Hey, Time change. Yeah. People talking about ways. Hey, time, oh, hey, oh, hey, time, oh, times do change. All I'm saying is. Times change. If you want to be able to be, 
Right, right. We got a we got a podcast because this is the new wave. Nah, that's it. just this was that's what's going if you on. You said right if now. you want to be what? What was you gonna say? Hmm? What were you gonna say? You said if you want to be, be a what? What you mean? You gonna say something? You... I don't know what I was about to say. I don't know. I don't know what you was about to say. I'm but... just saying if, so if, if you're an artist, if you, you want to be how to appeal. Like at you... the end of the day, and you got, it's got to be real. Let me help you out with something, <laughs> right? You gotta talk about. You gotta think about who this who this is, right? Yeah. Mastermind, absolute mastermind. I think I said this to y'all, even in the group chat. What he wanted to happen is happening. He's already won. He's already yeah. won. All the, well, I'm the, still a fan yeah. of music. Yeah. Like, okay. Okay. Your business are you, are is on you point, saying that the album is no good? It's cool. I, I I heard it and I went back to listening to the Thugger New album. To be real. Because okay. I, I wanted to hear some music. I wanted to, no, I was like, oh, this cool. He dropping some shit. Like, all right, but I went back to Doug. I'm not even going to lie. That's some real shit. Okay. It was cool. But w- when I hear an album, I want to hear an album. I want to hear that cut on it that I think, oh, this going to be that club one. I want to hear that one that, damn, I'm going to fuck my girl to this one. I want to hear, you know what I'm saying? All them shits was yeah, really that, right here. And that's all in you know what perspective. That's all in it perspective, too. That album. is definitely that, all in that, perspective. That's all in perspective. Yeah. And uh, so I do agree with you that, like, you know, the music artists, you know, they're there to do one thing that's make the music. You might like the music that I don't like, mm-hmm. so far and so forth. Um, but just as impact, though, like, fuck the music. Like, take that shit out because that shit is opinionated anyway. Mm-hmm. As, as, you know, just the structure of what this man set up versus what, I mean, somebody else might set up. Like, I don't know. Uh, In his words, bro, the truth is you can't knock the hustle. You cannot. You can't. You can't. You, can't. you cannot but knock I the still, hustle. And I'm in love with music, though, bro. Like I, I respect you for what all you did. That's cool. That Absolutely. I, you, you, your shit was platinum before you put it out. All that. That's cool, bro. But I want to hear some dope music, my but, nigga. All right. So besides, you know what I'm saying. All right. So like I said, like besides the music or whatever. I mean, even if but it's not. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 hold on. Let me. You're an artist. Gotta, you're a rapper. Point. I got a point. I'm a businessman too. Come, I invest. And I'll come do that. You in my way. At the end of the day, I get into it. A lot of people, even even Where? Savannah, Jay Z in your way, dealers, or this, that, and the person who yeah. want to be a rapper. Why, nigga, go do that? Let me do this. Yeah. Let Let me be the rapper. Yeah. Why are you over here? I ain't trying to sell drugs, bro. I'm yeah. not trying to be a rapper and trying to go sell drugs. Let me so be the Jay- rapper. You put, put put the money behind me. So, so like, Jay needs to move. Put the money behind everybody else. We don't heard you, Jay. You good? You all right? <laughs> I, I want to say something. What's up? What we are all failing to realize, let's just talk about marketing of the music business. That's let's exactly what I'm ready to get into. The game and everything. What's going on right now? I'm I'm 34 years old, you know, and you got people that's 50 years old that still love hip hop. You got different genres of hip hop within hip hop, mm-hmm. and what you're realizing is a new genre of hip hop for people to. That's my age. That's 40-something years old. We want to jam something, too. True. I mean, I'm not going to be jamming Molly and Percocets. Mm-hmm. My that's kids true. might, you know, but that's a different genre of music. So somebody's got to step forth and make that type of genre of music and create that. And maybe I'm 34, but hey, maybe I might come out with a mixtape, too. Yeah. And maybe mine's going to be a different correlation of the stuff that I did illegally and legally mm-hmm. and my transition of that, you know. So that that's what you're entering now. If I don't like Future, I'm not going to buy Future. If I don't like Ray Srimmon, I'm not going to buy that. And if you don't like exactly. Jay-Z, you don't have to listen to that just because he's a popular name. I'm exactly. not going to wear a Gucci shirt if I don't like it just because it's Gucci. Exactly. Either. exactly. Just because you don't agree, or you, you, you want to be a part of that bandwagon, then nobody told you to go buy that album or that whole title. Right. Nobody told you to do all right. that. You know? And if so, that's what you choose to do. And if you don't like it, okay, go to the next track, go to the next album, somebody else. Tyran just said that. some good shit on here. He said, feel good music. Music supposed to make you feel something. What Should did I y'all feel when y'all heard the album? Not saying y'all didn't. I just want to know what y'all felt. I, I, I absolutely felt the album, especially... Um, what did you feel? Family, like, how did you feel? Feud album. I think the marketing structure behind this was, was definitely dope. It was dope hands down. I mean, I'm listening to what he's talking about. It's kind of like a comeback to Lemonade, if if you if you like to say. Um, I, again, the, the lyrics is what I really, really listen to. And I think Jacob just came back hard. Like, we anticipated him to do so. I love it. It made me think, bro. It really made me think about what he's talking about. Oh, sh- you know, he talks about, um, hey, Becky, why are you something, something? Again, correlates with that. Um, Lemonade album it, it makes it seem like Okay she's fussing about On one album About him cheating And all that good stuff And now he's coming back Trying to tie up The loose ends And tell you How he's a right boss now. 
How this, that, and the third. I'm about okay, to prove a point right now. Everybody pull out their phone, bro. Everybody pull out their phone. I'm about to prove a point right now. Don't switch nothing What's your up. point? Everybody pull out their phone. Pull out whatever music app you use and listen to. And let oh, me okay. see what's on your shit right now. Oh, wow. What That's you listening easy. to right now? That's easy. Don't try to switch nothing. I'm not now. switching nothing. Shit, I can just pull right down the drag bar. Right. That's Jay. And it'll pop no, up. No, this is not, no, it's not, this is right. not Jay. Oh. This is not Jay. Nah, uh, that was Trey Song. Oh, All right. What, what you no. listening to? Ain't got no Jay. Oh, oh, ain't got no Jay. Nobody listening to Jay right now? Hold on. Oh, that was just came out. No, it was not. No, it was Trey. It's Trey. Look, okay, it's on the shuffle. It's a Trey. You're not listening to him right now. Look at my phone. Any phone I open up. I just was jamming it on Sarah. Any phone I house this morning when I was cleaning up. was listening to, bro. What? But when I stepped in the house, I felt differently. So I different music. Look, you're not saying nothing. Both my phones say Jay Z on them. You feel me? Come on, man. What point is that? Y'all, that, 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 y'all, y'all saying point? all that, but y'all, but the, the thing is point. music, bro. Let's it's it's, it. it's gone on the low. Let's y'all not it. even listening to it no more. Let's who talk who about is y'all not album? listening who to it? Who buys one album and listening to it all day, every day? It just day. came out. We, exactly. It ain't been out two a, days. A whole week, these days. It ain't like the It's 90s. been two days, bro. Y'all not even listening to it no more. People don't put third verses tracks no more, man, because people got ADD. We want to listen to something else now. That's what I'm saying. But this is this is Jay Z. Okay, so this is Mr. Yeah. Goat. Kendrick Lamar. Two days later, y'all not even listening Kendrick to this Lamar nigga no more. He dropped. Who drank that for man. an entire week? I did. You did, but everybody nah, else. I ain't doing that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Everybody else don't but listen to music the same way. As over. You got the whole yeah, and I'm, and I'm yeah. listening to it. Yeah. Shit right now. Yeah, and look, plus, man, he only got ten tracks. Like, what the hell am I gonna keep listening to over and over again for? I do. I'm jamming Family Feud all the way here. I got great flats off my shit, bro. Come on. Come on, bro. So you just proved your point. You said you was listening to Thug album. I was. Was Okay, we was listening to Jay album. No, I wasn't. Y'all was listening to everything else but Jay. My nigga. Just Title. Just pull up your iTunes. iTunes. You ain't pull up your iTunes. iTunes. He's not. iTunes. The album is not on <laughs> iTunes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Jay, you're structuring the comment you, by saying how? that iTunes. Four, four, if you four, a like Jay three, fan, you gonna go get that title. I got the title. title. I, I, I got the title. When are you jamming it? Click my title. I'll let you do it. Click my title. No, it's too late now. Click my title. <laughs> it's not too late. You won't get me, bro. You won't get me, bro. It's not too late. Two days later. Every, niggas is not listening to four, 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 bro. I was listening bro. to it this morning. All right, let's check out Twitter. Twitter. Twitter tells all. Man, right. Nobody listened. It was cool. Everybody looking. All right, you know what's dope? Everybody back on what they was on, bro. That shit came in with, bro. same thing that I do with everybody else. But music is not supposed to do that, album. bro. What you mean? Music's supposed to do whatever it's supposed to do to you personally. Not if it's Jay-Z. Listen, and, you I let, it's I, and like I said, at the end of the day, Jay's winning. Why? Because we sitting right here making arguments about it. Yeah, you're right. And, and guess the what? He, and he already cast course. a check. So let's, talk about pop, so let's move on. So let's move on. The business, of course. Of course he going to win. At the end of the day, you know what's winning? Birdman. Watch any Drake any Drake thing come out with it say oh, Cash Money man, Records. So, but we ain't talking about Bird, man. But he's still yeah, winning. Anything come out with Drake? Yeah, because anything come out with Nicki? Anything the, come out with Wayne? Because All the checks ain't equal. That's why we ain't talking about it. Bird man didn't drop no album. The checks ain't still, equal. But we talking about people who <laughs> win it off of business. I'm talking about music. Y'all talking about business. I want to talk about the music. I'm talking about Fuck the, the music. Fuck the business. That's cool. We know he winning. We know you, you multi million. We know everybody's that. That's cool. different. So you want to tell me music. everybody's supposed to be a robot right now? No. And listen, exactly. But it's an album. It's, it's not. It's, it's not, it is an album. It's not Thriller a was a too. real estate thing. It's a, we want. I'm talking about music. I'm not talking about business, bro. I we know your that, business what, on point, bro. I know. I understand that. We know that. I was listening to it. I'm just. I can only speak you for me personally. Was listening I was to, listening it. to it. You're not but listening to it anymore. I listened to ten tracks this morning. Two days ago, and I didn't feel like repeating it again. Like I was doing it all week. So I, I say, man, I want to listen to this track. I ain't heard this. Hey, what, 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 so I'm up another album. Why? How am I lying? You don't know. How am I lying? That nigga Puff Flex with the crying. He lied. <laughs> y'all ain't see that shit? <laughs> bro, y'all got to pull that shit up, bro. But yeah, man. Y'all will fuck that shit then. Cause it, was win, it was an enlightening, bro. It was an enlightening album. I'm still waiting on Carter Fire, man. It's not dropping. You feel me? It's, it's not. It's, it's not dropping. Somebody gonna have to buy him out that contract. Yeah, that it's, it's not. Jigga might do it, right? The business man, right? Ross was going to do it, too. We all yeah. thought a lot of people was going to do it. But when you break down mm-hmm. the intricates of the detail and you find out it's maybe more than just the money. Yeah. Because yeah. everybody I got money that. when you're talking about that business. I believe that. I believe it's way more than the money. For a fact. So, I don't know, man. Let me hold your thing again. I got a little... Uh, 
I told uh, Miss Lady I was gonna plug. Any matter of fact, y'all boys, you still got it up. Are you talking to me? Yes, ma'am. What are you doing? What I text you? It's a uh, lady coming out here shooting a movie. Um, I'm going to give y'all her information. I spoke with her the other day. It says, please announce the following. Crazy crazy for the boys is filming in Savannah. In Savannah, they need 18 and 25 year olds for a concert scene. DJ is supposed to be pretty big. I mean, you know they don't try to hype it like they need to hype it. But it's... What it's about? It's... Um, I don't know. It's supposed to be like a... Um, she told me it was like a uh, like a high school kind of day in high school kind of okay. day or whatever like that. And they're looking for people between 18 and 25. I told her I'll uh, put it out there. I'm going to put it in the description where you, she said to send a good, the best sale pick to the following. And I'm going to put it in the description, uh, the email and all. I told her I was going to make sure I said that on air <laughs> for the <laughs> homie already. But um, what y'all want to get into next then, man? Since y'all hating on Wayne. I mean... Um. <laughs> well, fuck it. Who y'all top five then, man? We're gonna revert back to the same situation. Whenever, <laughs> Lil, Wayne drops, whenever Lil Wayne drops again, we're gonna do the same. We thing. got to. <laughs> but but at the end of the day, though, we'll never know who went out LeBron and Michael Jordan. LeBron. We'll never know. Though. I think LeBron. We'll never know. Though. One on one. I say LeBron too. But Today? I feel like we'll never know. Yeah. This like we're this nil. Never get the end of the Jay Z and Prime you know? Jordan. No. Nah, nah, and I like nah, LeBron. LeBron nah, couldn't nah, beat Prime nah, Joy? Nah, I think he could. Y'all yeah. know how big LeBron is? That's what I'm saying. Y'all like, be tripping. LeBron got real. LeBron should go old man all day. Yeah, little nigga. All day, bro. That nigga be tripping. Nah, man. We get into that, too. Y'all get into that? That's but shit, I feel like LeBron way better than Joy. I feel like Joy was just the first of his kind. I feel like Jordan mm -hmm. was was the 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 standout guard back then because it wasn't no stand it was a big man game. Everybody know that it was who this is. That's what Matumba. it was about. You feel That's me? Right. It was a big man game. He was a standout guard. Now the the game is about guards now. So shit, if you stand out guard, then you that nigga. LeBron mm -hmm. can play any position. One, two, three. That's why four, Curry five. got that two hundred one million dollar three signing go. That's His defense weak. Defense, all right. Exactly. LeBron yeah, is all around. True, true. Nah, who wanted to be that? I just feel like it, it was. Huh? That's just normal. The football game, man. Right I ain't gonna lie. I mean, we we know that. I just it's feel like it, it was a different talk. ball game then. Yeah, way it different. Was, niggas was built differently. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> niggas was built differently. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, that shit was a lot more physical. Yeah, it, it was different, so. Yeah, everybody was yeah. Everybody was towers. You can't even put the ball through your really? leg more, more than one time. Mm -hmm. You can't even cross nobody up like that. Mm -hmm. Now you guys have seen LeBron flop a couple times. And I mean, he is the flop. Like but do I the playoffs, he ain't flop now. That man was focused, bro. Why y'all bullshit? Man was focused and lost. He lost, but he was focused, though. But anyway, back to y'all boys, man. Top five? Top five, man. Uh, I ain't got no particular order, nah, but ain't no order. Uh, first, say how old you is first, cause this shit gonna, this shit make. I'm 19. 19. 19. Top five favorite or top five? Uh, top five on what I don't listen to probably in my 19 years. I want to say that now. So that's favorite. Yeah. That's favorite. Yeah. That's favorite. Yeah. Yeah, that's favorite. All right, we're going with favorite. Um, one, I'm gonna go Biggie, Biggie Smalls, Big. Oh. Um, number two, I'm gonna put Flaj. Um, uh, on number two, I'm gonna put flies, but not on uh, lyrical ability. But his the way he can flow a song, yeah, because he wasn't always he didn't always have bars, but he knew how to flow a song. Yeah, Check. yeah, like Cut Friends wasn't necessarily bars, but he knew how to flow the song. All right, so flies, um, DMX. I'm going to go DMX. Everybody like that. Yeah. Y'all yeah. should see the reaction. I'm going DMX. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, I'm going DMX. Yeah. Uh, Foe, T.I. Oh, Clifford. Yeah, Clifford. That's messed up, man. <laughs> <laughs> T.I. and um, Five, Bankroll Fresh. Yeah. Nice mm. little list, man. Yeah. 
I, I, I can respect that based on yeah. the age, man. Yeah, that's why that's why mm-hmm. I made sure that people said in the age first, cause you can't expect nobody to be like, you know what I'm saying? I such and such and such. He died. Huh? I didn't know how to feel about Bakewell Fresh when he died. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, but people that was like 18 to about a good 21, they was like, bro, like, the South is gone. I'm like, what are you all talking about? Like, if Tip died, I probably, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I was born in a whole different era. Like, when he came out, I was like, okay, I could jig to it. But when he died, I was just like, oh, man. That's I mean, awesome. everybody believed that he was going to do some damage. I yeah. believed yeah. that he was going to do some damage. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. That boy was gonna do some damage. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I respect that too. I'm kind of up in the age. I ain't gonna tell how old I am, but as far as it hit me, but they ain't really. I was like, is, you know? I feel it was like when Pop died. We were like, oh shit. You know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> I feel like, like, correlation with what you're saying, bro. If he would have went further, if he would have died during that time, I probably would have been like, okay, that boy right there finna. You know what I'm saying? He finna go ahead and put a little stamp on the game right now. Bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, he did. He, I mean, he did, but he didn't fulfill what he wanted to. Yeah, you had a couple rappers, you know what I'm saying, like Jeezy do a song in his name, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I wasn't able to experience that walked in, you know what I'm saying, popping shit, and you know what I'm saying, a couple little songs he did with, you know what I'm saying, Street Money Bushy. But other than that, it was just kind of like, damn. Like, I don't even like, know who that is, you're just saying. That's what I'm saying. Uh-huh. Like, I, Street I Money who? That was his partner for the label. Yeah. Bro. I think because, um, because I think it's because I consume mixtapes like albums because most time mixtapes aren't always like the no ceilings way mm. it's basically original music so I might treat it like it's an album and for for me in my case um, me and my cousin Caleb Caleb Shell he on a lot of my intros and shit um, the way we felt about Bankroll and some of the new people like Lucci or or um, Dolph or something like that is like to them to me we already think that they big yeah, yeah. Like, because of the internet and all of that. Like, they may not be big on radio or stuff like that, but we already feel it. Feel like they big. And when they get, their life get cut off short, it's like, we we take that to the heart. Yeah. Not even that we from Atlanta, none of that, because we not from Atlanta. But that's who y'all being raised, you know what I'm saying? Like, not raised by, but you know what I'm saying? That but just yeah, who yeah, y'all yeah. coming up under. And, like, and, and, like, we could, like, relate to, like, a bankroll or, or Yo Gotti or something like that. That'll basically be, like, one of y'all version of, like, a big or a pop. In a way. Not completely, but in a way, because because bankroll like his subjects didn't really change as much as a Biggie mm-hmm. or a Pac or anything. It was usually basically just the streets. But just how y'all look at him is how yeah we look at yeah him. the way yeah. we looked at him. It was, it was in a big light. I mean, talk about that situation. Uh, yeah. I mean, like first I, we were top five. Oh, my top five. No, no particular order. I'm 18 too. My top five. Uh, Pac. Mm. Uh, Lodge. Uh. Or G Breeze, what? Yeah, Pop Flodge. You know what I'm saying? One day. One day, somebody gonna be like, what you? Girl, nigga, send a nigga t shirt or something, man. Pop Flodge, uh, Wayne. Yeah, I forgot Wayne. J. Cole, and Kendrick. That is. You got a really nice wow. Yeah, that's, that's tough. Yeah. You got an old soul, too. I can tell. Yeah. I like yeah. your top five. I listen to his top five. But why Why is that your top five, though? Because of what? What you base your top five on? For me, like, when I first started listening to rap, Wayne was the first person I listened to. Mm-hmm. And that's what, that's what got me rapping and how I got hooked on the rap and all that. Mm-hmm. And then I picked Park over Biggie because I listened to him first. That was the, like... That's who caught my eye first out of them two. Yeah. And ever since then, you know, it's Pac, he rock. Uh, what's I say? Flodge, being from Savannah, and the way he float. Like, this man could cut up on any track. Yeah. And I like that. And I think if he was still alive, he would have been mentoring Wayne, in my yeah. opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh, J. Cole yeah. and Kendrick, they like the Pac and Big. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get a rewind, you say but... he would have been mentoring Wayne? Yeah, because you know, like... Well, I heard he was going to get signed to Cash Money first. Yeah. And if Wayne would have came too, he would have been like, I think he would have been over, you know. Mm. It wouldn't have been no, it probably would have been Hot Boys, but, Flage. you know. Flodge. It probably, it so probably would So you're saying that Flodge was, so you're saying that Wayne was there after the signing, like before Birdman was interested in Flodge? I'm not I'm not sure, but like from what I was told and what I seen, I guess I, I believe that Flodge is up first. Not sure. Nah, Wayne he wasn't been rocking with Cash Money. He was like twelve, really like eight. Oh, when yeah, Manny Fresh yeah. had yellow tapes, 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> with you and LV, when Wayne was 12. Yeah, you were about to say. That was off information. I was told. He helped make cash money just as well as BG. Like, yeah, he was there. He is cash money. But I believe Flaj would have been a bigger artist, in my opinion. You'd have been bigger than Wayne? Yeah. I mean, they both are. Mm-hmm. Wayne, Wayne, Wayne can cut up in any level and any uh lane. I will say that. I, I believe Flaws could too. I don't know stories about them too, man. Well, you know, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Time cut short, but yeah. yeah. And J Cole and Kendrick, I chose them because they like the parking bigger of all time right now, in my opinion. Hmm. Guess who's back? What y'all talking about? Probably got that bougie boss drink. I had drunk, so that shit was good. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, fuck your ass up like me. <laughs> Spit that shit out. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Nah, so, I mean, so what started y'all? Like intrigued y'all to become an artist? <laughs> to be honest, um, like this is my first year doing this. Uh huh. Um, hold on, hold on. Before you say that, we gotta have a deep voice contest between these two niggas. All right. Who got you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I won. <laughs> right, go ahead, buddy. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, this is my first year doing this. Um, before this, I was doing like, I was more into like acting. Yeah. More like acting, um, being a personality or something like that. Um. I don't know. One day, because I guess I had done tried everything out, whole acting, trying mm-hmm. to just do a nine to five. Because I'm cool with just doing a nine to five. Let's say it just don't work out. Yeah, I can work at the movies, get an apartment, couch to stay on. I'm straight. Yeah. That's all I really need. But like, I don't know. Like, I heard a bunch of beats. Well, somebody sent me a bunch of beats. Because they like my voice the way I talk and stuff. Was like it that. Swank? Oh, he went. He no, nah, this is before. This is way before <laughs> Swank. Way before Swank. Swank kicked in about like, I want to say like six months ago. Okay. Six months ago. Shout out to Swank though. Um and I don't know. I just a bunch of people sent me some beats and they was like, I wanna see if you could flow on it. And I did one beat and I was like I did it, recorded it. Okay, I rock with my voice a little bit. <laughs> I rock with it. Now I, then I let other people hear it and they was like, they rock with it too. And then I kept doing it for a little while, maybe like four months passed. And then somebody told me maybe you should switch it up, talk about something different. It's so a, what was you talking about that first thing? Um, really just cooling. Like maybe we talking about cooling at a kickback, going to a party, messing with some girls, like yeah. just the usual. But instead of having a a a story, well, a story within the subject. Mm-hmm. Like now, I'm more into the whole Savannah based stories. That way, cause I wanna, I wanna. I feel like if, if I talk about Savannah, that's the only way I can put my story out. Yeah, because I'm, I'm in, I'm always in every part of Savannah. I've always been in every part of Savannah, even when, cause I stay in Atlanta now. It's like, even though those people are not from Savannah, they'll listen to what I'm talking about and feel like they're from Savannah, yeah. like they right down the street or something like that. And that sense. right now, I've just been, I've been carrying it. I like it. So. Okay, tunes, tunes. I'll repeat the question. Tunes. Hang on, wow. I forgot the question. What inspired you to become an artist? Oh. What's, how it all started? Like I said, my top five, Wayne. And after that, I started picking up on other people from the South, like Trent Daddy, Master P, all that, T.I. Like, really Clifford. South. My bad, my South bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When everybody find out your real person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> my shit bad, too. I ain't gonna lie. The people who know, man, fuck y'all, man. <laughs> <laughs> man. Somebody yeah, is about to put that shit in the middle. I'm about to unlive right now. Somebody <laughs> <laughs> put that motherfucker in there. Your Fuck that shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I want to say, yeah, the South. But then when I moved to New Jersey for them two years, that's when I really, really got into mm-hmm. rapping. And I started listening to the park and all that. You listen to Joe Button? Nah. Why you don't listen to Button? Are you from Jersey? <laughs> I ain't from no... I'm from Savannah. I moved out there for two years. <laughs> And that, that that put me deeper in the rap because I was surrounded by more people that was doing it. And that's when I came back down here and really started doing it. Man, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie though. Before I got here, I was playing um, Def Jam Fight for New York. I was whooping yeah. your butt and ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was beating. Off of what he did to me, go. Off of what he did to me, go. Off of what he did to me, go. I watched it. Did y'all go listen to what he said? Nah, yeah, I li- yeah, I li- cause I watch Everyday Struggle. Yeah. I look at it like it's the first take of hip hop. Yeah, exactly. That's how that's how I take it. 
Um, <laughs> based on what he said, I understand what went down. Like, you don't want to talk to nobody that seemed like they don't want to talk. Yeah. And Migos ain't never really had a good interview. That's why you about to kick to out. He don't want to talk. <laughs> 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 nah, but I, I, I'm with both sides, really. I mean, what I seen on the internet, I seen he said that they was acting too feminine around him. And I guess, I'm, I don't know if they was fans and they was, I, I seen that like they was acting too feminine and he ain't like when they was videotaping them. And I'm like, if they fans of you and they trying to get a video of you, that's their first time meeting you, what did you expect them to do? Hmm. And if he just walked off like that, I felt that was disrespectful. I don't know. I'm in between both. I can't call it though. I don't think I would have did what he did though, but I felt him why he did what he did though. Yeah, walking off was a little unprofessional, but yeah, that was very. But I mean, he's that character though. Yeah, like it fit him. Like if somebody else would have did it, it'd be like, what the fuck? But that's Joe Button. That's it's Joe Button. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's that go along with his what he got going on. So that, I feel like that shit went. But I, went I still don't think though. I still don't think it. Um, it looked like what it is. What's his name? Take off. I, it don't look like Takeoff was left off bad and bougie. If you ask me. <laughs> yeah, they be sleeping on this man. This man can really cut off. They be sleeping on this man for real. He really I mean, the hardest. hardest. I'm he the hardest. Right. To me. I think I'll say this. I ain't gonna say. I'll say it might be a little harder. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't know who better. Cause I don't be knowing which one is which. Sometimes my nigga, I might know Quavo, but the rest of the other two, they all right. But shit, I don't. Man, I don't be knowing, bro. But I'm old, bro. So don't count me. I'm scared. Right. <laughs> I'm old. Bougie boss, man. The people want to hear from Bougie boss, man. Bougie boss too lit right now. Like I really. You too lit. I'm too lit. <laughs> too lit. Like shout out, bro. Yeah, too. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, shout out. No. I ain't feeling it, that's all. Not feeling it. Aww. They sending the hearts. Thank you. <laughs> y'all stupid. No reason, bro. I wanted to get into some shit with y'all boys too young for me to get in this shit that they want. They want to talk what? about it. Nah, them boys are talking about all kind of shit on my own shit earlier. What's that? Yeah, yeah. I want to know. And she ain't lit. It was some what? shit really on her. What is it? They was talking about all kind of shit, man. Talking about when you... Oh, shit. yeah, I come out of shit. When I what? Back in the day, Hold on, I was young. Look for this shit. <laughs> I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm talking about y'all boys. We on y'all boys, man. I know y'all boys. Nah, never mind. What? Oh my god! And throw oh, it at me, boy. I got a question. Go for ahead. You, what I so I seen this on Facebook. Uh, the topic of the day it says, "Do men like to be chased by women? How do you? Oh, what? How do you feel? About How that? I feel? <laughs> yeah. Do I like to be chased by women? Yeah." If I want to be chased by her, yeah. Mm-hmm. How you want to? Yeah, I feel, I feel what you're saying. Yeah, like if, if, like a lot of times, even even in the beginning of a relationship, right? Mm-hmm. Like the the chase of it is cool. Like when you know you got them, it's like, I, like you know what I'm saying. So like if if I want to be chased by her and I know what she's doing, she know I know what she's doing. Like it's cool. Like, I ain't tripping. But if like I done told you like three or four times, like look. You feel me? I'm married and I ain't even married. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. You, feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I mean, everybody got that one that if if, if she hit me, I'ma I'm a let her know I'm, I want her, but I can't. You know what I'm saying? You can't a thousand percent give in. So it's just like, you know what I'm saying? So y'all yeah, shit. Um, I don't even been chased once. I don't even chased <laughs> once, and it made me feel uncomfortable at first because like usually, or uh, or. Uh, <laughs> Based on uh, on um how you, how things usually go, the dude chases the girl. So for a girl to chase me is like, am I popping like that? <laughs> like, do I really got juice like that? <laughs> and, <laughs> but after a while, it's like, okay, I kind of like this. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. someone trying to like cater to what I need or or what they think I need or what I want or something like that. It made me feel kind of special. So you went to your job and somebody said it's a bouquet of flowers up there for you. I don't know about the flowers, <laughs> but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't you know. No, I don't, I, I don't know because ain't nobody ever got me no flowers. So I don't. Know, I might smile a little bit. I ain't gonna call like, oh, you got me some flowers. <laughs> <laughs> you got the FaceTime and be like, I got them. I got them. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I'm, I'm with it if it feel right. Mm-hmm. As long as you don't feel like like you, cause the the line between thirsty and chasing is a little it's blurred now. Yeah, it's blurred. Like a text at two p.m. and two a.m. can mean two different things if it's the same text. Of course. 
Like what you doing at two PM? I just mean, hey, what you doing? What what you mm-hmm. like? What you trying to get at two AM? It's like you saying that shit thinking about you. Yeah, <laughs> two AM is like uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you what you trying to get into <laughs> at two AM? So you know, it's okay. whatever. Those. I mean, I mean, like the same way. But if it's somebody you really don't want to be bothered with, you ain't yeah. gonna mess with it. Right, I was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you ain't feeling mm-hmm. it. It's, it's dead. It's dead if you're not feeling it. Mm-hmm. You like to be chased? Who's your boss? No. No. So unattractive. It's unattractive. So how was how do a guy show you that they're interested without you feeling like they chasing you? I mean, just show me. I mean, just tell me. I guess you don't have to be and let you make all that extra it. shit. Yeah, just let me make the decision. Tell me. Don't bullshit me. Just. And I make the decision. Straight like that. Straight like that. No point in chasing me like with no money or nothing. I got Ooh, that. Ooh, flex mm. up. I got that. Ooh, flex up. I got that. <laughs> Bill? Go get in trouble, man. I ain't gonna get in trouble. I mean, it depends. <laughs> it all depends on. Well, you started it all that. It all depends on who it is, though. But, I mean, like in the beginning, I mean, it all should be. I would feel like I would want to be chased, but. If it's something serious, then uh, after a while, I'll be, like, chill. How do you know if it's something serious? I mean, you know she the one. Right? I mean, From the beginning? From the beginning, you know. If you love it first time, I'm not saying that it is. I'm just saying it could be. Uh, that nigga telling his story on I ain't no story. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, man. For a quick second, we're going to take a look. Yeah, you on with Lit Night Style Podcast. Lit Night Style. And if you see me in the street, say what up. Uh, the mom. Voted Wilmington Island's best cell phone and tablet repair for 2016, Savannah Eye Doctor delivers quality repairs with superior customer service. Our level two expert repair technicians are some of the best in the business. Plus, all repairs come with a limited lifetime warranty. Savannah Eye Doctor, located on Wilmington Island at 140 Johnny Mercer Boulevard, Suite 9 in Savannah, Georgia. Hours Monday through Friday, 10 to 6, and Saturday, 10 to 4. You name it, we can fix it. Savannah Eye Doctor, Savannah's most trusted repair shop. What up, y'all? It's your girl, Bougie Boss of Lit Lifestyle Podcast. And the summer's biggest banger is finally here. It's from the homie Lil Damon. <laughs> y'all already know, featuring Randy, man. And it's lighting up the streets. Y'all make sure y'all tune in and show him some love. You know that hella flow love. Sauce! But you gotta fuck with me. That piped up, right? As far as the piped it up remix track, that's 14 fucking minutes long. <laughs> I didn't make it. Re- I made it for people to listen to it, but I really wanted to connect. I, I, it was this before this. I wanted to connect a lot of people that I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted people that hear my music to hear your music. I wanted them to hear. You know, what I'm I got a girl from the UK on there, Miss General. I wanted them to hear her music. I want people to be like, well, who is that? Let me go check that person out. So it was this podcast shit before the podcast. That's really what that was on my Jay Z business shit, and that's what they say. Exactly. You know, I ain't know how you felt, so I ain't want to put on you know social media. Just get to this part. I mean, shit, that shit on your own. shit. <laughs> Promo yourself. I ain't gonna get mad. I don't care. If everybody on that song do that shit. Hey man, go listen to my part. That song, because guess what? Every time they go listen to your part, that's one more view on my. One of you under my name. <laughs> I'm going to listen. Every time, bro. You can tell everybody, man, this shit weak. Go listen to this shit. That's one more view, one more like. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I do not care, boy. For real. And <laughs> Now they hear this shit like, damn, that's what he was doing, huh? Nah, man. You feel me? I was on my Sean Carter shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, man, fuck it. We gonna get into the flame of lanes, man. We getting one. 
ready right now, but I guess so we're gonna play the first one. We're gonna play two ones first. I didn't. You ain't get mine either? No, you got nobody, so. I got one I can play. That one you saw me? Yeah. All right, we're gonna play that. That was the crew, right? Yep. All right, we're gonna put like 45 seconds or something like that, 20 seconds or something. Figure it out. I guess what, the crew was the name of it? Uh, it's called Friends by a group named The Crew. D-A-C-R-E-W. The, the group's called Y6, actually. The title in the audio file is actually from when they recorded it. Oh. oh. Well, there you have it. We can play that one first for the Flame of Lane. Why these boys get right? This Wi Fi is slow, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Shout out 912 Studio. Ooh, hey, <laughs> shit. Boy, oh, wait till Robbie had this one, boy. Go for a play show ass. <laughs> she always complaining, bro. <laughs> I got the AC on for this week. And she wanna complain about something else, bro. What? <laughs> what? What the mill? Water millers? Mm-mm. Wait, shit. I like I ain't never had strawberry before. I told her, I said like, I never nice. wanted to know what girls eat. Like if you five years old and you wanna know what look what girls eat, yeah. what girls eat strawberry. Strawberry. Right? Email with mixed meal studio, right? Yeah. yeah. That's what I said. That's how you that's how you get them. I ain't never had a strawberry before. See that's right, right. Mm-hmm. What that tastes <laughs> What that tastes like? I ain't never had a strawberry. <laughs> It is. She said this shit's good. I just sent it Come again, dude. I think I left off the S on that one. <laughs> Let's just send it in. Oh, it's Dollar Rosa. The letter Why A and then Mill Studios. Oh, we <laughs> rappers, man. We don't know how to spell. <laughs> I done sent it to the wrong of it. I think I'm gonna send it to somebody. Somebody about to have some shit. <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's still kind of a listen. Yeah, and it's still kind of a listen. <laughs> oh, we sent. Oh. We're back on air. Huh? Yeah, we've been back on air. Strawberry Lady. Strawberry Lady. Mm-hmm. 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 We got to enter you in the deep voice contest. <laughs> the, third <runner-up. laughs> the third runner up. I'm telling y'all. No reason, bro. I'm telling. Yeah, no Get what? Where is that? Is any of them online? Mine on my Instagram, my body. I got one online. Send it. You don't want to be on Flame Because you connected to this. You don't want to be on this. And we could just play it on this and put it on top. Sorry, y'all, for the, uh, uh, what it's called? Yeah, all that. What's all you want? Hey, I don't know. Uh, you got one on the SoundCloud you'll play? Mm-hmm. P-O-T. You get to that one. I'm we played that one. I'm gonna send the other one to you. Which one we played? Uh, I think we played. One. Yeah, we played that one. Oh, I yeah. played that one. Yeah. Play um. Yeah, County Boy or Pope. Yeah. yeah. And the County Boy, that's on iTunes. Yep. Yeah. You play that on iTunes. Oh no, you about that on? Oh yeah, I got those on. Y'all can't keep my eyes open, so. Okay. If it ain't pulled, it ain't dope, nigga. Yeah, yeah, if it ain't pulled, it ain't dope, nigga. I ain't did this alone. I would like to thank you. Money over all. These niggas a snake you. These bitches betray you. I've been through some things too. Don't let them mistake you. For no goofy nigga, no. Yeah, or no pussy nigga, no. I'm with you until I'm gone. Hey, 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 yeah, try them county in my soul. Ooh, what, what, what? Try them county boy, yeah. Try them county boy, yeah. Try them county boy. Yeah. You ain't even got an ass, know how I'm rocking, nigga. Everybody polo down like it's a hobby, nigga. I swear my shorty held me down, she don't want bougie, nigga. On the river swinging with you, think I'm bougie, nigga. They quit talking about your inches, come and play with mine. Uh, if you ain't fucking, it ain't nothing, I don't play with time. Uh, try them county boy, ooh, feel like paper boy, ooh. Buy his paper boy, ooh. Getting money with my pool. Why you think we skip a school? Yeah. Why you think we skip a school? Try them county boy. Oh, try them county boy. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I ain't did this alone. I 
I would like to thank you Money over all, these niggas a snake you These bitches betray you I been through some things too Don't let them mistake you For no goofy nigga, no Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or no pussy nigga, no yeah, 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 yeah. Let them pussy niggas know what, what, ayy Ain't no city like the Pope Now I'm doing Tom Kong So man, let the people know what that was, man that was County Boy, chat on County Boy. Um, right now it's on iTunes and it's on SoundCloud. County Boy, C O U N T Y B O I, Mojo Yeti. All ready. No fire like Girl, passion. if you got friends Tell them bottles of rosé and tequila Cause you know pull it up Girl, if you got friends You can bring them out in Cause you know we turning up Girl, if you got friends Tell me what your name is Tell me what your name is Girl, if you got friends Baby, tell me who you came with Tell me who you came with Yeah, yeah. I heard you got talent, girl don't show the camera, you ain't dealing with an amateur Got days in, we don't do dates, no calendar Beat it up, hammer her, little bit by a damager Maybe you can bring your friend with ya If she down, go saddle up Do with me, guarantee that your boyfriend mad at ya At the end of the night, I'm just trying to flip you like a trampoline I want you to shake it like a parakeet, yeah he don't do you like I do you long nights, baby, you gon' wanna marry me So come closer, cause I don't think I know you But I seen you before, you like turning up But your girl pull it up, so go and grab a cup I need you to come closer, cause I don't think I know you But I seen you before, you like turning up But your girl pull it up, cause y'all don't give a Girl, if you got friends Tell them bottles of rosé and tequila cause you know we pull it up Girl, if you got friends Bring them out in All in Cause you know we turn it up Girl, you got friends Tell me what your name is I can dig it Yeah What was the name of that song? My dude He gonna introduce me That was Y-Sick That's Cam here from Munoz Magic and Music And that's uh, Marcus and Nelson A.K.A. Louie And Young Marco From Y-Sick That was uh, recorded about A little over a year ago Um, Okay Shout out to Uh Triller. Where are they from? Spillway, from here? Augusta, Georgia. Okay. They are, mm-hmm. of course. But yeah. Cool. Cool. Well, we're going to get the uh, flame of name, man. We're going to let the people mm-hmm. judge and see how they feel about it. You awesome. know what I'm saying? Awesome. awesome. We'll get back and let everybody know, man. Mm-hmm. Of course. She's talking about her. Nigga, they have this nigga. Who's that? Well, look, man. Flame of name. We just did the flame of name. I know. Who won? <laughs> last week. Oh, last week? Who won? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on right now, bro. I'm trying to like improv to them right now. What the fuck? Shout out to the Enigos. They got the art, music, and soul festival coming up on the 23rd of July. Fine. But nah, we did get some reviews back from Low Country, man. They was fucking with it. It was flame. It wasn't lame. So, it was flame. It wasn't lame. Yeah. That means it's got to be flame or lame, right? Or it could be or. Four, four, four. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, it looks like we have a show wow. there, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucked up this show. Bro. That's what I got. How do you get it, man? <laughs> All right, man. Mojo Yeti, you know what I'm saying? Yo. Holla at him. Pope, baby, man. You could find me on SoundCloud, iTunes, Tidal, whatever. Just put in Mojo Yeti, M-O-J-O-Y-E-T-T-I. Or Pope, baby. That's going to pull up, too. It's kind of like my AK, my AKA oh, now. Hold that's Mo. Hold that's Mo on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's Mo on Instagram, because my mama don't look at my Instagram. So it's just bro, that's Mo on Instagram. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, tones, you can find me on SoundCloud, Facebook. Uh, Reverb Nation Audio Mac Twitter All that's Grind God Tunes And Instagram is Underscore Underscore Tunes T-U-N-E-Z Where you find you at? 
You can find me in St. Louis rolling on the right. bubble. Right. Sipping bud. Anyway. Right. Um I'm still shooting my calendar, so I'm all over the place. But I am where I always am. Twitter, Snap, IG, Facebook, Bougie Boss. Cool. Right, DJ WJ. <laughs> we can find you at, right? At DJ WJ23, Twitter, IG, Facebook. Or no. Yes, Facebook. I just made a nice little fan page. Right. You got some fans? I got 33 so far. Ooh, what <laughs> turn it up. <laughs> DJ Dub, turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you can find, I was still working on my calendar. Um, Damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ladies, you know what I'm saying? You know what it is. I done been in the gym. I done been drinking this vinegar. You feel me? I'm going to get right for y'all. You feel me? That's not funny. My calendar going to be dropping. The day after Bougie Boss calendar drops. You <laughs> know it. It is what it is, though. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? You can find me at OSG Breeze Everything. Or you could Google Breeze Baby, B A Y B E, man. I got like 30 something pages full of information, man. For what you want. Hey, what what the OSG stand for? OSG, man. <laughs> I told half of the story last time, so I'm glad you said that. But the OSG stands for Offset Game. Okay. Um, it's it's like three or four of us, Offset Game. But it originally came from, shout out to uh, Monk and Hanif, Fia B, and Picasso. We had a group called NSA, New Savannah Alliance. Mm hmm. And I, a.k.a. was OSG Offset Gang because we was always dressed in, we was all Offset. So that's where the all OSG originated from. Then me and my partner took it a little farther with over. Like ASAP, Rocky, ASAP, right, right. we got OSG Breeze, OSG, you know what I'm saying? OSG Boozy Boss, you know what I'm saying? All that. You know what I'm saying? OSG, you know what I'm saying? All that. OSG Prep, you know what I'm saying? OSG Tunes, you know what I'm saying? All that. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, man. But that's what y'all can find us at. Y'all say, like I said, they be uh, careful, man. I'm about to try this calendar on y'all, man. Yeah, you always have a style podcast. And if you see me in the street, say what up. The Marshall.